Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another session of Jiu Jitsu. Here we go with the first round. Uh, uh, I think we're just waiting for the bell here. Okay, oh, here we go. And so I have a lot of trouble uh, breaking grips of really strong people. So very uh, recently, I I went up against another big strong guy, a uh, very skilled black belt, and um, because I can't break their grips, I usually go for a wrist lock. I mean, I usually don't complete the wrist lock, but it, it makes them let go of the grip a lot of the times. But um, <laughs> yeah, they got revenge on me. Uh, did a wrist lock. That was uh, like uh, almost a week ago, and my wrist still kind of hurts from that. <laughs> so yeah, that's the risk. The risk of using wrist locks is um, when. Uh, right here, I'm trying to do a Hindula team, <laughs> but I, I think he knows what's coming. <laughs> I, I never see anyone do Hindula teams live. I'm trying to, and then I'm trying to transition into a uh, Omoplata. <laughs> he just stands up. <laughs> I really tried to bring him down with my legs, but couldn't do it. Got out of it. But yeah, um, the risk the risk of doing wrist locks is that they're gonna do it back to you. <laughs> okay, so I was trying to take him down with the butterfly guard, and his balance is so good. He's just very rooted to the ground. Man, I tried to take him down with the single leg X, couldn't do it. Got a uh, double leg. I'm trying to do a reverse uh, double leg. I mean, not double leg. Um, Double, double X guard. <laughs> oh, double leg X guard. That's what it's called, right? I don't know why that sounded weird to me right now, but um, yeah, I try to take him down. I still can't take him down. He exposed his back, but I'm very low on him, so I wasn't able to take advantage of it. Uh, I appreciate this opponent uh, letting me work my game. He's obviously very skilled. Also big and strong. I'm just like, oh, what should I do? <laughs> and I'm, I'm surprised when people do that, like the, uh, the like the position transitioning thing. Okay, nice. Like I'm surprised how much energy people have. Like when I do that, like I expend. Oh, nice uh, scissor sweep. I expend so much energy. I feel like I don't want to do that or it's not worth it, but I should definitely practice those transitions. Yeah, I was trying to go to a dog fight, but he really pinned my my shoulders to the ground. But I'm happy I'm not being lazy here. I don't oh nice. He did a um north south choke. So I recently learned a tip for north-south choke. I know ne I'm never able to get it. Uh, right here, I was uh, um, actually trying to do a calf slicer, and then I transitioned to straight ankle lock, but I'm nowhere near his ankle. And now he has a grip on my lapel, or he did. Yeah, he, he's, he's really giving me a lot of leeway to try what I can. Okay. But yeah, I'm happy I'm being active here. Oh, turtle. Uh, I was trying to... Man, his transitions are so good. Um... Yeah, I was trying to turtle, but he prevented me from turtling. All right. Yeah, he's really good at pinning my shoulders. 
And I think he has a... Oh, okay, never mind. I, th I thought he had a... Like a loop choke or something. Okay. Oh. Oh, yeah, he, he, he let me do that. <laughs> he saw me struggling to sweep and he, he let me sweep. But, yeah, I appreciate this opponent. Good round. All right, next round. So I combined uh, two sessions to this um, uh, to this video because, uh, like, the way this gym is set up, it was kind of hard for me to set up my camera. It was it, it, a lot of times it was in it was in people's way. There weren't too many people here. Oh, another thing I noticed about this gym is. Like half the people leave, maybe not half, but a, a large uh, portion of the people leave when I, when, I mean, um, when it's time to spar. So there was there was a lot of people before this. All right, uh, I think earlier he was trying to do a scissor sweep. Whoa, that was a interesting sweep. I'm looking for a triangle, but that's really obvious. He obviously knows it's coming. So he controls that one leg. Okay, he has a... Not exactly a single leg. I'm trying to stand up here. I'm trying to prevent him from a, a leaning back. I pushed the leg through. So he lost a... <coughs> Uh, straight ankle lock, I mean. I think my uh, my gi game is uh, improving. Uh, since I came to Asia, I've been doing a lot more jiu-jitsu in the gi. <laughs> Yay. Oh, I feel the... Oh, he could have finished that Kimura if he wanted to. He switches to a Americana and taps me. Nice. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I mentioned it before, but yeah, this gym. People really like pulling guard. I don't know what it is about this gym that they really like that. I'm trying to like um, spaghetti noodle my arm right there. I felt uh, Kimura coming. Or like a, what do you call that? A chicken wing. <laughs> ah, he got me. <laughs> I, I really tried to get my arm out, but couldn't get it done. So Kimuras are okay, but Americanas, um, I I injured my elbow. It's been a little while now, but yeah, I, I popped my ligament, and um, I don't I don't think it tore, like it didn't swell up or anything, but it hurt a lot, and it, it, it like that pain still flares up. Especially when people do Americanas on me. Yeah, he has a nice grip. He totally could have done a wrist lock to me <laughs> earlier. Right, I'm trying to prevent the leg hooks. I'm able to prevent the leg hooks, but my hips are in. I need to get them out if I could. Ah, crap. <laughs> and. He's working me and he's not even trying hard, but uh, yeah, appreciate him, good round, on to the next, oh yeah, this was a different session, I, I got a different gi on, oh, this was a positional round, man, this, I hate being on uh, top in a closed guard. I, I never know what to, like, 
I have options, but like none of them seem to be seem to work well. I never have like a go-to option. I guess my go-to option is to like get my knee in between their legs. So they if so if they squeeze on the clothes guard, they'll crush their own nuts. Well, my opponent is a woman, so maybe that wouldn't work <laughs> in this case. <laughs> But yeah, my, my opponent was uh, super cool. Um, she is American. Or at least I know she lives in America. She's visiting Taiwan from New York. So yeah, I really appreciate it when um, people speak English because the, the classes were uh, taught in Mandarin usually. There was a coach that that taught in Mandarin as well as English. That coach knew like many different languages, so that was cool, but he's not always the one to be teaching. So I appreciate it when people that know English would translate for me. So yeah, here we go. Yeah, this, um, this opponent was uh, very skilled. All right, I enjoyed going up against her. I felt like we're kind of evenly matched. Maybe she's uh, better than me. But it was fun. We're like similar weight. But she has a nice close guard on me. She could do that like rib squeezing move. <laughs> I, like I think that's only been done to me one time. And I've done it to other people. Um, that's one of those moves where like you don't know you're in trouble until um, until it's too late so I try not to do that one too often uh, I'm not sure what happened I'm not sure why we're resetting oh, oh it's positional we're just I think when we escape it's over or something like that Yeah, like, see, if you do this one, I could just grab your leg. I should have grabbed both legs. But yeah, I could just uh, kick. She's bending over, but I could kick on her hip if I wanted to. And, like, she's, like, standing, like, square. Uh, which makes it harder for her to, like, push my legs down. Like there, there is a way you could get your leg up um, as the as a as a top person uh, without getting your legs hooked. But if I want to push the leg down, at some point I have to let go of that grip. Nice. That side control. That was a nice escape. I should have worked harder at um, trying to take her down when I when I hooked her leg. But yeah, she has a nice side control. Whenever I'm in, whenever I'm top side control, I always feel like it's not a secure position. But she switches into like a kind of a Keza Katami. Is that what is Keza Katami? She didn't really switch her hips. So right here, yeah, I was looking for that arm bar. And yeah, I got her with the arm bar right there. Good round. Okay, I got a little more time left. But yeah, I don't think she was feeling well this day. She told me she felt very lazy, didn't feel like coming, but good round anyway. Alright, another good session at Taiwan BJJ. I'll see you guys next time.